Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to our garage. I am ready to go on a trip to do some catfishing. Yeah, we hear that a lot around here. I've never used goldfish as bait before and I'm really excited. I've heard really good things from other people, so. I've got a little bucket. I'm about to go pick up those goldfish and head to the spot, so. Yeah, stay tuned and see what we can catch today. Okay, let's go. All right, well, we just got to the spot. I'm gonna eat quick. I got a little breakfast burrito and then I'll head down there. This is kind of just like uh, off the road. But I'm gonna eat this real quick and head down there. Let's go. There was a guy looking at me like, what the hell? That was a terrible idea. It's like there was like an army of homeless people that lived down there. I'll pass. And there was a ton of mosquitoes. I was like, nope, I'm out. See you later. I did put on bug spray before I came, but like they were swarming. I'm like, nope, okay, I'm over it. So I'm gonna try a new spot. Stay tuned. Alrighty, everybody, we are at another spot kind of checking things out. Somebody left a pool holder there. I might be taking that. But yeah, the water looks disgusting. Pretty gross. But I've been wanting to do some catfishing. Honestly, today's not a bad day for it. Sometimes it's better to fish for catfish at nighttime, but eh, try it out. See what else bites. I have some goldfish with me and just some random lures. So the one thing I did forget is night crawlers. Over here is not as bad, but yeah, I'm gonna throw some bait out and see see if we can catch anything. Pretty excited about it. I'm gonna catch me a kitty today. Stay tuned. Got a casualty. <laughs> Got a catfish pole, heavy line pole, and just like a bait pole. Ooh. Usually we go right off of this point, but I'm gonna try a different spot this time. It's a little bit more hidden. There's a lot of trees underwater and all kinds of brush piles. So that's where they like to hide in the summer when it's super hot. But it doesn't look like anyone's at the lake. That's pretty exciting. Oh, that's a giant daddy long leg. We'll just ignore him. It's nice and shaded over here. I like it. Okay. Got my stand, my bait bag with my batteries in it, some pole holders, some random things here. Got a blade bait, Got some more hooks, some jigs. All right. Okay. Who are we about to sacrifice here? Alrighty, so I got my pole holder set up here. Got some goldfish. We can only use cut bait here, so I had to cut my little guy, but we're gonna throw him out in between those two brush piles over there. See what we can get. That was a really good cast. Make it nice and tight. Turn the clicker on, open the bale. Say hi to the plane, I guess. <laughs> I have another pole that I'm gonna put out with some cut bait 
and kind of throw it way out there. See if we can get some kitties. There's tons of catfish in here though. The majority are over 10 pounds. They all seem to be kind of the, around the same size, but not disappointing at all. So, all right, so I put a little bit more weight on this one. Throw out the tail. Throw them out yonder way. Make sure the line's tight. Drags loose. There we go. Got a little bit of a breeze to help us out too. I don't know, I have a good feeling about it. The conditions aren't ideal, but I don't know. I don't want to give up, but definitely deeper for the cooler water. So here I'm using the new Six Sense ESP rod and we've got the Stratic on there, brand new. Shimano Stratic, it's the best. I am ungrounded from the Stratic. We will never have to deal with that again, hopefully. But this is a 7.3 medium light. It's very, very comfortable to hold. I just, oh, I love getting new rod and reels. It's just so smooth. Look how freaking far that went. Like, come on now. Like, dang, that's wonderful. And I just have a blade bait tied on right now. See what's out there. There's a little bit of brush I have to watch out for, but this area right here, the stretch is pretty good. I like how the blade bait kind of vibrates. Just throw it out and let it fall for a second. And reel up, let it fall, reel up. It attracts some fish. It's got the high vibration. Oh. that caught on an, another person's line just what I wanted <laughs> be cool if there's a fish on the other end of the line but highly doubt it oh that did not work out I've got another blade bait to try a smaller one it's called the mean eye blade bait from Cabela's, 3-8 ounce. And this knot is super simple. You just kind of leave a loop down here, twist around. I usually do like five times. Bring the line through the loop and then bring it back up through this top loop here. And then pull her down. Cut off the excess here. and cast somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I got some. What? That's a nice crappie. Dang. Ow, bud, ow. That is a nice crappie, holy crap. He's a pokey bud. Nice. Hmm. To do a catch and cook or nah. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna do a catch and cook. See how many others I can get. All right, so the rules out here for catfish are catch and release only, just catfishing for fun. But crappie, the limit is 15 a person. I'm gonna try to see if I can catch more crappie and hopefully, hopefully catch a catfish too. That'd be cool. I'm actually gonna leave these, let them do their thing and then go on over on the corner, see if I can get some more crappie over there.
Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a bass. It's a pretty decent bass there, right there. Holy crap. That is a nice bass. Come here, bud. That is a nice bass. I knew something was hiding right there. Woohoo! Whoa. I'm gonna try to rinse them off a little bit. Look at that. Whew. Whew. Alrighty, I'll let him go. Oh gosh, he's strong. See you later. Off into the distance. Oh, he poked me really good. Ah. Okay. It's pretty decent bass. Gosh, she's finding me so good. That hurt. Got a nice crappie, nice bass. So far, not too bad. I'm guessing he's the only guy that's back here, so I'm gonna keep moving. Baby bass. Okay, bud. Okay. I don't know what to tell you guys on that one. These fish are strong. See you later. Number three, two bass, nice crappie, and hopefully a kitty soon. This is cute. I've never fished over here.
All right, guys, I am packing up and getting out of here. Caught some decent fish today. Uh, one I didn't get on camera because my camera froze, but what do you do? And then I got the nice crappie that I'm gonna take home and cook for myself. Josh is out on a trip, so it's just me. And yeah, might make myself a crappie sandwich. Those are delicious, so we'll be including that here at the end of the video, but yeah, stay tuned for next time. It's extremely hot out right now. <laughs> I did not catch anything on cut bait today, so I'm kind of disappointed. I really wanted a kitty. Here's to next time. I'm going to try again. Probably at the same spot. Probably early morning or late evening. Yeah, I'm going to pack up and go. But thank you guys so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. I will be posting my next video next Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. Alrighty, we are back at the house. I'm about to fillet this guy up and we'll get him cooking. Also, welcome to our new home. I'll have to give you guys a little tour shortly here. We absolutely love this place. It's a little out of our budget, but we made it work. Music it starting on this other side here. Hi, Kikis. Hi, baby girl. Cat staring at me. We got fillet number one. Put in some salt water to soak. The electric flay knives are way better, way faster, but we have not purchased one yet. Josh doesn't think we need one, but I mean, all right, well, that one's not as pretty, but it'll do for a sandwich. Also, this is our kitchen. Little Thomas, little curious boy. Um, give you a quick tour, living room, nice and big. Kitchen table. I love the kitchen though, it's huge. We have an addition on the back. It's kind of like a sunroom, just a hangout area. I love this room. We spend most of our time in this room. Here's Kiki, our little other baby. She's a little feisty. She's a good girl. I'll get these fillets cooking. I'm gonna put in Frank's Red Hot, let it sit for a little bit, and put the fillets on, and yeah see how she tastes. So I like to use olive oil. This is the one I'm using now. Just put enough to coat the bottom in there. It's just a lighter option, a little bit healthier. All right, well, I toasted my bun, put some sauce on there, and just use some Chick-fil-A sauce. Nice and soft fillets. It's gonna be delicious. It's good. <laughs> Josh always does his uh, catch and cooks and just annihilates his food. I feel like that's kind of weird, so I'm just taking little bites and I already know it's going to be good. But yes, yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video. Stay tuned for next Wednesday's video. Might do some traveling soon. I'm thinking so. It's been fun. Thank you guys. We'll see you later.